Hello. So, I wanted to learn some Python, and I thought it would be a good idea to go through the Code Academy Learn Python course. Um, I guess this is an introduction to Python, and if you want to tag along, learn along, please do. So let's get started. Unit 1, the Python syntax. Okay, welcome. Python is, an, Python is an easy to learn programming language. You can use it to create web apps, games, even a search engine. We're ready to learn Python. Click save and submit code to continue. Instructions. Ready to learn Python, click save and submit code to continue. Okay, let's click save and submit code to continue. Print welcome to Python. I think it's working. No? Let me refresh. That's a good start to the video. There we go. Welcome to Python. None. Streak is one. Thank you. Next lesson. Okay. Variables, creating web apps, games, and search engines all involve storing and working with different types of data. They do so using variables. A variable stores a piece of data and give it a specific name. For example, spam equals five. The variable spam now stores the number five. Instructions. One, set the variable my variable equal to the value 10. Let's do that. Write your code below. Go on line two. My variable equals 10. Click two. Click the save and submit button to run your code. Save and submit. Way to go. Start next lesson. Booleans. Great. You just stored a number in a variable. Numbers are one data type we can use in programming. A second data type is called a boolean. A boolean is like a light switch. It can have two values. Just like a light switch, it can only be on or off. A boolean can only be true or false. We can use variables to store booleans like this. A equals true, B equals false. Instructions set the following variables to the corresponding values. One, my underscore int equals, sorry, my underscore int to the value seven. Let's try that. Okay, so my underscore int equals seven. Two, my float to the value 1.23, my float equals to the value of 1.23 3 my bool underscore bool to the value true my underscore bool equals true okay let's submit code way to go next lesson okay you've been reassigned now you know how to use variables to store values say my underscore int equals seven you can change the value of a variable by reassigning it like this my int equals three try and see try and see change the value of my underscore int from seven to three in the editor okay let's take a look at this my underscore int is set to seven below what do you think will happen if we reset it to three and print the results? It should change to three. Change the value of my underscore int to three on line eight. Line eight, change it to three. Here's some code that will print 
mine, I'll just go to int, to the console, the print keyword will be covered in detail soon. Print my underscore int. OK, save and submit code to continue. Three, congratulations, finish this section. OK, looks like I've learned something. I've learned a badge. Let's close that. Next, white space and statements. White space. In Python, white space is used to structure code. White space is important, so you have to be careful with how you use it. The code on the right is badly formatted. Hit save and submit code to see what happens. You should see an error message and we'll fix it in the next exercise. Def spam parentheses eggs equals 12 return eggs print spam. Let's see what's wrong. Okay, here it says file python line to eggs equals 12. Indentation error. Expected an indented block. Okay, I've earned another first lesson badge. How many first lessons am I going to earn? Cool. Next lesson. White space means write space. Now let's examine the error from the last section. Indentation error expected an indented block. You get this error whenever your white space is off. Properly indent the code with four spaces before eggs on line two and another four before return on line three. You should indent your code with four spaces. Okay, so indent code with four spaces before egg. One, two, three, four. And another four before return. One, two, three, four. Let's save and submit code. Way to go. Next lesson. Okay, a matter of interpretation. In the window in the top right corner of the page is called the interpreter. The interpreter runs your code line by line and checks for any errors. Okay, so it's this window here, black window here. Cats equals three. In the above example, we create a variable cats and assign it the value of three. And create a variable called span and assign it the value of true. Okay, spam equals true. Create a variable called eggs and assign it the variable false. Submit code. Congratulations, you finished this section. Comments. Okay, single line comments. You should you probably saw us use the pound sign or hash sign few times in earlier exercises. The hash sign is for comments. You comment in the line of text that Python won't try to run as code. It's just for humans to read. Comments make you your program easier to understand. When you look back at your code and others want to collaborate with you, they can read your comments and easily figure out what your code does. Hey, let's go. Instructions, write a comment on line one. Make sure it starts with a hash. Say anything you like. Okay. Oh, what's going on? My keyboard. Okay. Now, what is the answer to life? Save and submit code. Where to go? Next lesson. Multi-line comments. The hash sign will only comment out a single line. Well, you could write a multi-line comment starting with each line with hash. That can be a pain. Instead, for a multi-line comment, you can include the whole block in a set of triple quotation mark, separating from the 
till runneth over holy grail. Instruction, write a multi-line comment in the editor. It can be any text you'd like. Okay, let's do this. So three quotes. Um, write a multi-line comment in the editor. It can it can be any text you like. So I will copy what you say. Okay. I guess what? I can do that. Save and submit code. Congratulations, you finished this section. Next, math operations. Math, great, now let's do some math. You can add, subtract, multiply, divide numbers like this. Addition, 72 plus 23, subtraction, 108 minus 204, multiplication, 108 times 0.5, division, 108 divided by 9, instructions. Set the variable count to equal to the sum of two big numbers. Okay, set count to the sum of two big numbers. Okay, well what's a big number? It's big. Okay, save and submit code. And set that to a variable. Right again. Okay, you've earned a badge. Ten exercises. Great. Next lesson. Okay. Exponentiation. All that math can be done on a calculator. So why use Python? Because you can combine math with other data types, e.g. booleans, and commands that can create useful programs. Calculators just take two numbers. Now let's work on exponents. 8 equals 2 to the power 3. In the above example, we create a variable called 8 and set it to 8 or the result of 2 to the power of 3. Notice that we use the star star instead of the star for the multiplication operator. Cre create a new variable variable called eggs and use the exponents to set eggs equal to 100. Try raising 10 to the power of 2 eggs. Way to go. Start next lesson. Modulo. Our final operator is modulo. Modulo returns the remainder from a division. So if you type 3 modulo 2, it will return 1. So 3 percentage 2 return 1. So there's 1 remainder. Because 2 goes into 3 evenly once with 1 left over. Use modulo to set spam equal to 1. You can use any two numbers. You, you can use any two numbers that will leave a remainder of 1 to do this. Okay. Let's try this. Congratulations, you finished this section. Review. Bring it all together. Nice work. So far you've learned about variables, which store values for later use, data types, such as numbers and booleans, white space, which separates statements, comments, which make your code easier to read, and arithmetic operations, including plus, minus, times, division, 
exponents and modulo. Let's put our knowledge together. Let's put our knowledge to work. Write a single line comment on line one. It can be anything you like. This is my comment. Set the variable monthly to true. Set another var variable, Python equals to one, three, four, one, two, three, four. And set a third variable, monthly Python equal to Python squared. Submit code. Congratulations, you finished this course. You've earned a badge. Python syntax. Okay, great. Okay, that's it. Unit one finished. Um, stay tuned and we'll go through unit two. Hope you enjoy it. On the first unit, Squid. skip that quiz. Okay, I guess in the second unit we're going we're going to start learning about a project. Um, so that's it. Hope you enjoy that. Um, if you want to follow along, please do. Hit subscribe if you like what you're seeing. I guess that's it. I guess the next unit will go through the meal, the tip calculator. Okay. I guess that's it. Well, thank you for listening, watching. Okay, that's it.